Remco Pardot is already in the semifinals, this dangerous Netherlands fighter, with Royce Gracie taking on another guy from Netherlands. Like, it's crazy. Wait, like, Remco Pardo is 24 years old, as said by the commentators, against Royce Gracie. And Royce Gracie at the time? Like, dude. Royce Gracie is 27 years old at the time. So both of these guys are in their mid-20s at this time, and they're fighting in the biggest events of all time. It's crazy. And it's kind of weird because Brian Kilmore actually said that as Remco enters the ring, he actually said that Rem that Royce Gracie was 28 or 29 years old. Okay. So anyway, at this moment, you viewers think to yourself that if Patrick Smith won that last fight with Johnny Rhodes quickly, you think to yourself that Royce Gracie lasted five minutes against a Japanese fire, went one minute against... Jason Odusia, which makes which makes you think to yourself that if this fight lasts a little bit longer for Gracie, Gracie's going to have a problem taking on Patrick Smith, correct? At this moment, that might not be true, but as long as Pardo can have a hard fight with Gracie in this fight, it might give a chance for Patrick Smith to win in the finals. Boy, how little we knew. This fight lasted so quickly that it is. Fight starts out. Remco's in the middle of the ring, standing like a statue. <laughs> and then out of nowhere, like like Remco is staying on. He's making sure that Royce Gracie won't go for a takedown, grab the knees. Because you guys, you guys understand, he's a two hundred sixty pound, sixty pound, six foot four guy from from Netherlands. Right, Royce Gracie is taking on a really big guy. This guy's big. And Royce is kicking up his right leg to scare him off. And as he does, he tracks him on. He grabs part of his body. And then he turns around. Like, Royce Grace is this small guy pulling all his weight on Remco just so he tires him out. And then he's sitting down. He lifts up this guy's right leg trying to trip him. Remco is a six foot four, 260-pound dude against a small Brazilian fighter. And then suddenly, the funniest moment... As Royce Gracie tries to push his body up to lift up his right leg again, now they're now now Remco is dancing around clockwise with one foot. It was so funny that Gracie grabs his right foot, cooks it around, and now you're seeing Remco bouncing off his left foot. It's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. It was really funny. And as that happens, he takes him down. Gracie. Is going for the choke here, the lap hate choke, as he did. He grabs part of his hands. He goes back. It's crazy how Gracie is doing this. And then Remco grabs onto Gracie's right jacket. Now you're seeing part of Gracie's jacket being pulled. And, and Gracie doesn't even realize that his knee is on a chin, which is crazy. That's what the commentator said, but I didn't see it. And then the fight ends. He's grabbing on the lap choke. He's grabbing on his, his his arm like there's so much pain on Remco and as the commentators realize that how much pain he's in right now Remco taps out at 1 minute and 31 seconds the fight is over man it is bad to see the 6 foot 4 guy it was crazy so we have 14 new guys that entered in the UFC tournament and not one could go to the finals, we get to see two former UFC one fighters, Patrick Smith and Royce Gracie, in the finals. It sucks, but that's the way it goes. That's the way life is. They come back. They both hug out each other. Uh, they announce the winner, Royce Gracie, in the semifinals. They go to the finals. They both hug each other. It was pretty interesting. I will say, though, it was pretty dangerous. I will say, though, I love that after they left the ring and everyone's taking it easy before the finals, I love that the commentators are talking about how heavy Remco is and Ben Perry says, I'm 148. If we were in a swimming pool at the same time, we're the same size. What? 